are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. Going? Oh, we did. Squad, are we live? All right. Hey, drop uh, some W's in the chat. <laughs> W's in the chat, <laughs> dude. Drop Ohio, in the chat, dude. <laughs> did I just raise you up in Ohio? Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, the, that goon language is crazy. Dude, what I started doing on stage, I just got back. This it was a it was a it was a longer set I did in Cincinnati, and like on five different occasions, my set went. <laughs> I, just kept, I kept like I kept being like she. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd be like, "Yo, ice in my fucking veins!" <laughs> like I don't know why. why? How did I that go over with the crowd? They loved it because you, you do it once, it's like cool, and then you just like keep like at random times. I started doing it. I'd be like, and it just turns into a Family Guy joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It just with the, the when he like hold his leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but every time like something cool happened, I'd just be like. <laughs> like, oh, sick. You guys like that joke? <laughs> sick, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, if I got a big break, I started doing that, like during like big oh, pops. Oh, it's so oh. bad. It's so insufferable, but it's such like a dumb, silly thing to do. <laughs> Be like, oh, you like that? Yeah, oh, you, you like it? that? <laughs> yeah. Ice in my fucking veins, dude. What is that from, dude? <laughs> making, <laughs> making y'all chuckle. Oh my god. I don't know. It's from somewhere. I don't know where I got it from. It's just like a thing people used to. Do. It's like. I think you used to like, a, like, it's what it is, is it's quintessentially like one of those things I was like tough and hood where it'd be like, you know, like mm-hmm. fucking cool. And then the, like, like suburban white kids starting doing it. And I was like really like lame. That's the same thing as the, the she. Yeah, yeah, that's right? exactly that's what it is. Thing. Like, she. Or it's like, okay. but it used to be like, like ice in the veins or like shooting up. Like know? that's cold, bro. Yeah, like I got ice like in my fucking sick. veins. That's dude. cold. Yeah. Okay. Where there's a, a reference to shooting fucking, up heroin or whatever. I don't know. Where does this fucking <laughs> I just started gooner language come from? Where does all the, the what is it called? Brain rot? Where, brain does, the, rot, where does the brain rot shit come from? Dude, dude? I'm so deep into brain rot. Right? <laughs> dude, then can we talk about that? I can literally, I literally started it? talking like like the brain rot. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Wait, let me introduce you. Let me introduce I you really I, quick. Rot. Brain rot. Brain I, keep rot. Saying, I keep saying brain rot. Brain rot. <laughs> I got, I got, the, I got, fried, dude. My, my, my brain is wanted. I've reverted back to a, a, me a 12 month year old <laughs> You're fried by the internet dude <laughs> <laughs> I stand up I'm just wearing a diaper <laughs> I'm sorry I cannot comprehend complex sentences anymore <laughs> Welcome back to the Gorecast you guys <laughs> Uh, we got my buddy here, uh, Matt Bantwart. Is that how you say your last name? Banwart. 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 That's good. I like that. Okay. Banwart. Ban- Bantwart. I just like Banwart. over-enunciated. Banwart. No, you're good. Stand-up comedian, awesome dude, homie, and awesome. Um, in, in your your brain is rotten, apparently. You're a, dude, you're the, a, the most you're rotten a 27 brain year old child. Dude. <laughs> I'm just, uh, this is a quarter life crisis. I'm trying. I'm trying to be a quarter life crisis. I'm, I'm gonna pull up to high school and be like, "Yo, kids, are we chilling or what? <laughs> we acting skibbity today, homies?" They're gonna be like, uh, <laughs> "Beep." We are now in a lockdown. There's a man wearing a diaper running around <laughs> campus. Yeah, uh, <laughs> do not leave the classroom under any circumstance. Sam, I'm just trying to goon with you. <laughs> why, why are you phantom taxing me so tough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm I'm pretty brain rotted as a person. Dude, so where did it first come from? Is it just memes? The brain I think rot it's just talk? memes, dude. I'm so deep into brain rot. I'm watching videos where halfway through they'll start speaking in Mandarin and then they'll go back to brain rot. <laughs> what? Like, like, dude, I'm deep on the brain rot trail. Do you on, have like, one that you can that you can send? It's airdrop a link to uh, the. <laughs> I'm an the... Android guy. <laughs> 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 dude, that's how, that's how rotted my brain is, bro. <laughs> Dude, Ew, dude. Dude, dude, I swear to you, I had an you iPhone a month ago, and then, and then I started watching right. these memes, and I have a Google Pixel. You're just... <laughs> I'm one of eight people with a Google Pixel. My brain's rotted so much. <laughs> Go on Instagram and look up Yap Dalla, D-O-L-L-A, and it's just this... <laughs> it's like the final form of brain rot. It's like, it's like beyond brain rot. Yap Do you Dalla. have a specific video? Uh, the, all of them are bad. The, the, he doesn't have a single... The, this one? Yeah, yeah, but I'll, yeah, dude. All he, right, just look at it. He'll pull it up. I've gone like past traditional brain rot. Now I'm into like my own sort of uh, my own sort of niche brain rot. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Top one, five ish. You do you remember one of these we should pick? Any specific one? Uh, do the uh, yeah, do the one in the top right. It doesn't make sense. And then Tony, for this, just hit the PMP. Oh, dude, the audio's not on. Oh, yeah, turn it up. It's plant of the genus Jiang of the Jiang family, and it is similar to the Jiang we usually eat. And it is native to Malaysia and used to grow in tropical areas. Is this thing Malaysia AI? Weird foreigners like to use the liquid on it to wash their hair. <laughs> 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 
It is generally believed that the juice of red ball pulp is a shampoo with ginger flavor. But in fact, the squeezed water is not the juice of the red ball pulp itself, but the rainwater they store when it snows. When the accumulated water is just processed, nonsense. it will become a ginger flavor. Is this? this is this broken? Like it's this is broken, uh, like, it's this this broken guy, AI video. It looks weird, but it's not you can skip weird, to some other ones. All right, all right, all right stop, stop. Yeah, cut it. Pulp is a herb. See, people, hit sometimes escape. people be uh, like, oh my gosh, my explore feed is so embarrassing. No, this is genuinely <laughs> embarrassing stuff that I watch. You're watching this, you're like, there's nothing cool about what I just showed yeah, you. Yeah, well, have you seen the, like, the Some of them, he has, like, you, some of them he, has, he has, like, bigger, like, meltdowns. Or, like, he'll, like, have, like, he'll, like, he'll repeat, like, the same thing over and over and over yeah. again. Have you seen the, like, Fallout ones? No, dude. <laughs> oh, let me show you. You see, Or the Skyrim one? No, I uh, love those. Hang on. Yeah, broken AI humor has me addicted, dude. AI's already won the culture war. It's over, man. Yeah. It's over. Why, dude, don't even come to see me live. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an AI version of you. It's just it's just Yap Doll alive. Xiao <laughs> Hong <laughs> Shu. Why does he start speaking Mandarin? I don't know what that means, dude. I hope it's not like Where something... did these come from? <laughs> these broken AI fucking videos. Why did brain rot become a thing? I don't Is know it if... only funny to us because we're cynical comedian people? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think it's just like... I think it's just like... I don't know if it's intent. It is intentional because he's made a video saying that it was intentional, but I think it's just like it just looks like someone like messed up making like a broken AI video, and this guy just kept like making it worse and worse and worse yeah. until it made no sense. Or but I think he might be like translating like, like Chinese oh, videos to English like incorrectly. Okay. Or I don't fully understand it either. I but don't know. It, that was weird. So what was that? Like a fucking plant? They were just milking. <laughs> they're just jorking a plant, dude. Yeah, dude, they're just, just fucking edging that plant, dude. <laughs> Nothing, hey, nothing wrong with a little edgy now again. I'm doing it right now underneath the table. I'm sending you uh I'm sending you a link, Tony, <laughs> to the MacBook. Is this it? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Here, click the sound. And the it's like refresh. Order, right? Read it right into that imperial mug. Same as us. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, and I love that beta over there. Quit yapping back there. Turn it up a little bit. <laughs> and what's got bro down? <laughs> Check your vibes. <laughs> You're yapping at Ulfric Stormcock. Oh shit. The true short king. The true short king. <laughs> Ulfric, the Sigma of Windhelm? The Sigma of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rizbellion. But if they're talking, <laughs> on gods, where are they thug shaking us? On <laughs> gods. General Tullius, the military gooner. And it looks like the Thothmore are with him. The Thothmore? Sussy elves. Sussy elves. But they have something to do with this. <laughs> Sussy elves. <laughs> it's time to I'm sorry. Stop. All right, all right, all right. You're finally I woke. Jeez. What are you looking okay, at? Okay, here it is. This is. I gotta send you this. I'm gonna send right. you this. I'm gonna send you it on Instagram, then you can share it with him. Okay. This is, dude. This is the shit I'm on, man. I I don't even know if this one's good. There's a lot. There's a whole page of. You kind of have to redeem yourself after that first one. The Yap Dollar. No, I went deep. I went. Here's the thing. I shot. I shot at 10, and now I'm going to go back to, like, a 7 on the risk scale here. Okay. These are all pretty bad. These are, it's, dude, it's like, right. <laughs> it's these hood edits of, you turn on the audio. Yeah. You got to be quick about the clicking the audio thing, Tony. It's for some feet? Not just any feet. I'm very specific <laughs> with it on, bro. I've collected the most exquisite feet from all over the Earth Kingdom, <laughs> but I just can't seem to get my hands on the magnum opus Blind shorty feet content. Blind? Ain't no way I'm finna send your freaky ass some feet photos. <laughs> Shit, unless you offer me some racks. That could be a range <laughs> for show on bro. I got racks on racks on racks, what is but this? I'm gonna need ten of them hoes if I'm gonna be spending my racks on bro. I need a variety on bro. Not just one gang. He ain't getting shit, but I do like racks. <laughs> Let me see the bread first. <laughs> What the hell is this, my nigga? Never seen somebody fiend this hard for feet pics. That shit crazy, gang. <laughs> That's the beginning of it again. Yeah, dude, Jesus it's, Christ. It's just, it's just <laughs> dude, am, I, am I missing here? I don't know. No, am I just missing? It's, just, it's, just, it's, just it's so random. It's, That's the it, thing about all uh, it's, this. It's like, Hood Avatar uh, The Last Airbender edits. Hood Avatar The Last Airbender edits. All right, I'm going to save that. And I'll you have guys to seen the Halo that. 2 Rain Rot one? No. Uh, dude, dude, I did. Uh, pull that up. Yeah. Some of those, are, some of them are brain rot. Some of them are just hood edits, where it's just they just like yeah. put. God, my oh no, turn that off. My my podcast is just getting worse and worse and worse every second, dude. Wow, dude. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
through the brain rot is just. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't. I didn't mean to mean to come in so hot right. with ruining a great pod. No, our, no. I might. It was already horrible when you got here. So okay, you're good. good. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually maybe maybe now we're on the upswing. Actually. Yeah, we're at the. Who knows? Yeah. The reactors of Kai Sinat and I show <laughs> speed. I have brought you the El Riz. You may goon Duke Dennis. But I and take your bus and gear. <laughs> Edge the Sigma. <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> Edge the Lux Max has decided to have you gritted down in Ohio, and your <laughs> L Riz streamed on TikTok. <laughs> but ultimately, the terms of your rizzing are up to Baby Gronk. <laughs> I'm already rizzed. Ski Biddy. Do you know where we're pity glitched? <laughs> the goon cave of the Rizzler. Quite so. Here rests the ice spice of the Great Riz. Every Rizzler from Ohio to Miller Grove. Each one's rizzed up in times of level 10 prestige yats. The rizzing of Libby Dunn. The grunt mogging. If it weren't for the Rizzlers, Pizza Tower would have uncannied long ago. Even oiled up, I do not belong to the moon stairs. Toilet is your L Riz. And you rightfully edged in Ohio, but the looks maxers were overzealous. We know you are no aid in Ross. This is the true imposter among us. I just don't think would Aka. All right, cut it. I don't yeah, think you did. Yeah, you did. I think you get it. I think you get we the get idea. what it is. Yeah. Uh, I oh, just man. don't understand, I guess, why it's so common. Nobody can give me an answer of where it came from. I don't know. Or no one knows the origin of this meme. I don't, don't want really... to. I, I think it's just a game of like, how, how much dumber can we get? And so we're just throwing, like, more and more dumb things, like, at this meme. And at this point, like, because you know what it is? I think people used to hate on stuff. And now it's just, like, nah, we just we just got to embrace now it. Now we're just going to lean in it. You're right, because, like, it, we, we used to hate a little bit on, like, that's so fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, at first, whenever these little slangs from the younger generation would come out, the older, the older generation would kind of be like... Oh, that's what the kids are saying, haha. And they would use it ironically. Yeah. And then it would become actual. Like now, if you're like, dude, have you had this burger place? It's pretty fire, dude. Yeah. Like that's a totally normal thing for pretty much anyone in any age range to say. Yeah. Right. But it would have been cringe if your mom was like, I remember like getting my, my parents going like, that's fire. And we're like, oh, stop. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like they were doing it just to bug us. Well, I think it's also like, yeah, I mean, it, it is shamelessly that it's like we're parodying like the younger generation's humor before they can even like get it, though. What I like is that instead of like, because usually what happens is, is like the younger generation will start saying something. The older generation will be like, that's dumb. And then they'll start like, like mocking it. Like, you ever have like your parents be like, you're Pokemans? Yeah. You kids and your Pokemans? And you're like, okay, well, it's annoying you don't get it. I think our generation, what we're doing is we're going straight to like making fun of it before ever being like, we don't like this. Right. We're just going straight to like parodying the thing before it can ever become a thing. Like that's what we're doing to like the Gen Z people, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Gen with Z, Rizzing, like Gen Alpha. Like, that'll never be. We're never gonna say, dude. Like I, I loved your set the other night. You had a lot of Riz. Like we're never. <laughs> no, that's dude, never yeah. gonna be. We're not even. We're not even letting it get to that point. Like, right. like, like, like we're parodying it. The second it becomes a thing, we're already like making fun of it. Like we're already being like, dude. ooh, El Riz, and it's like, dude, it's, it's <clears> barely caught on yet. Do you think the younger generation is having, and going to continue to have a harder and harder time to differentiate? <laughs> memes from real life because that's what's happening with like uh, some of the dude, we're already some there. of the Riz stuff. We're already there, dude. No, but I think my brain is already rotted. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know reality <laughs> from not reality. I'm really hard to talk to. Dude, shout out to anybody still listening that made it through the beginning of that fucking podcast, dude. It's, we, had, we, had to, we had to put some background as to how Bra rotted yeah, my the, brain was. Yeah, exactly. No, I I think there's like because, like, even, like, so, like, Baby Gronk, right? He's, like, this, like, annoying fifth grader who, like, his... Do you know who Baby Gronk no, is? No, I don't know any of the lore okay, so, behind so, any so, of this stuff. I, dude, let me explain. So, Baby Gronk is, like, it's, like, this kid who's, like, pretty bad at football, but his dad has made a social media form. It's, like, clearly he comes from a w wealthy family. Okay. And his dad has made the social media. He's like, my son's the next Gronk. He's the baby Gronk. Oh, Gronk is the football player. Gronk's guy. an actual football yeah, player. Yeah, 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 yeah. But baby Gronk is like this like fifth grader who like like they put all these like hype tapes out for. And like his dad like stages like baby Gronk hitting on like famous women. And he'll like schedule interviews with women. And like he'll post photos and be like, here's my son, baby Gronk, rizzing up Livy Dunn or whatever. And I think the this internet. This is like a dad running this profile for yeah. this kid? Oh, yeah. And it's like really like bad. It's like hard. And I think instead of people being like, wow, this sucks, you're ruining your child's life, I think they're just like, 
what if we just went alone with it? <laughs> what if they're I think like, the, I they're think, looking at everything? They're like, okay, so our options for president are Kamala and Trump, and and we're giving all our money to Ukraine, yeah. and they're in World War Three is on the horizon. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Well, fuck uh, it. Let's let Baby Gronk be a thing. Yeah. Fuck it. I think that's what I think. I think as internet, I think because I think. <laughs> I think we've seen so many like young people destroyed for internet cloud at this point, like generationally, like yeah. like there's like we've seen hundreds of them, just like kids like, get destroyed like, for like internet the, cloud, uh, like the uh, uh, like the kid that was smirking at the yes the 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 Trump rally thing, the Trump hat, and he had he was smirking at the Indian guy. Yes. Remember that kid? Yes, and then they blew him up, and now he had to do st- and like even like the he like, sued CNN for like three hundred million dollars. Did he make some of it? He got all of it. Oh, dude. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. It was sick, and it started a chain reaction of people suing CNN. Or, like, every time, like, a kid would do something cute, they would Can have you look to that go up on really Ellen. Quick? Like, every time a kid did something cute, they would go on Ellen. Yeah. And it'd be like, Ellen would be like, oh, like, the, like, you know, like, the redhead kid at the state fair would go, like, actually, actually, I like this fair, because actually, and they like. No, I don't remember that. Dude, there's uh, pretty much every viral kid, or, like, the damn Daniel guy, or, like. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, all those, like, internet meme kids that we would yeah. just, like, destroy, like, the hawk dealer yeah, girl. Yeah, that's exactly what I, yeah, Covington kid. Like, in, instead of hating them, I think everyone in the case of, like, Baby Gronk, they're like, man, this kid life, this kid's life must suck. His dad's, like. Trying to turn his son into an influence for it, and it sucks. Instead of being like, "This is stupid," we're just like, "No, dude, yeah. <laughs> Baby Gronk's actually so cool." Yo, he's rising, dude. What if he was and like, and like we're just all like pretending to go on with it because we're just like, his life's already destroyed. Where did Ohio come from? I don't know. Is he Baby Gronk from Ohio? Is this all from Baby Gronk? <sighs> we're trying to find the Baby root. Gronk. I don't know. The, if he's the title from... of this pod is the root of the brain rot. The root of the brain rot. Because we're trying to find. I I want to know where the brain rot came from. Maybe we can look that up in a second. What's to say? CNN has settled a lawsuit. A Kentucky high school student who was at the center of viral video controversy, a spokesperson for the News Network confirmed Tuesday. No other details, blah, blah, blah. But they settled. They but settled. they did settle. They made money. They made real money. $275 million in damages. Bada bing. That's Cha-ching. crazy that you would value your life at that Dude, much. in his last name, Sandman. Oh, really? Nick Sandman. The Sandman, dude. I hope he starts a rap career or something, dude. dude. Yeah, That's a got, pretty badass fucking You gotta get into the performing name. arts of the Nazi. He's gotta like be that. doing comedy. What if What if we just saw a guy go on Kill Tony? He was like, by the way, I'm that fucking guy from that fucking video, and I got 275 <laughs> millis from CNN. Biatch! That'd dude, be cool. Damages. I see. I don't know how you can justify two, like... Like three hundred thousand worth of damages, you know. Probably because like of all the you're like, man, I'm it, never gonna it, be able to get a job ever again, ever. Yeah, or it's like, his, okay, it, but what makes you think you're gonna ever, ever having to get gonna have a job <laughs> worth that much? Like, what if the kid grows up from a janitor and they're like, well, Dude, no, we it's way because over. you can you can do like uh, intentional infliction of emotional distress type like weird claims like there's that. There's no therapist. That's three hundred million dollars. <laughs> no, but it could ruin your whole lot. You could be like, I, if, yeah, yeah, I, I don't it. know how they get those figures though. You're totally right. Like, yeah, how did they right. like my life is ruined and my life's pretty cool. So <laughs> that's gonna be two hundred and seventy five million dollars. You're, like, you're like, dude, you're lucky. Your last name is sick as fuck, dude. Yeah, you're exactly. so lucky. Yeah, you're so lucky. Dude. <laughs> if, if you were a bandwort, you'd get nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're a bandwort. You come from a long line of uh, Midwest farmers. Yeah, we'll give you uh, two hay pennies and a sack of corn. <laughs> Best I can do is a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> they're like shit. I'll settle out of court. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like, you're like. Well, it was a, it was a tough, it was a tough trial, but we made it to a set. We came to an agreement. They'd be like, this guy. I'm sorry, sir. In your defense, he has an entire Metallica song named after. Him. Yeah, we had to bring a mediator in, but he took the hunty. <laughs> dude, <laughs> Sandman, so, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He would be the coolest high school wrestler ever because he could walk into like a wrestling match and they could play Enter Sandman. Dude, 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 yeah. dude so sick. Yeah. Is that saying No. No, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it is. Is it? Uh, and night. And night. Yeah, dude. He's the sin. That's his name. Take my, my hand. hand. Oh, well, you never, never learn. learn. Yeah, dude. That kid. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's probably yeah. how they got the valuation there. Yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> In Sleep court. with what I <laughs> Come on, dude. dude. You're good. Let's go, dude. Yeah, you, could, you you could fucking he he totally could. He'd be the sickest. He could walk into anything with that. Yeah, they're like, Come sir, on. sir, how much is your life valued at? And he goes, three hundred million dollars. Yeah. Like, sure. But before you before you judge me, 
Listen Wait. to this sick ass track. Wait a minute. Should we not be talking about this dude if he's suing everybody that talks about <laughs> oh, yeah, it? Dollars, dude. Can, can we go for the <laughs> I'm judgment proof. I have zero fucking dollars, dude. You can't yeah. sue my ass. I'm fucking broke. Yeah, in my defense, I am not CNN. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have my platform is not CNN. Can you sue me for my debt? You can sue me. I'll give you my debt. I'll, you you know, can this somehow my work out in me. my favor? Can I get sued and it somehow works out for in my favor? That would be great. Thanks. That'd be really cool. It'd be really sick. Can we can we coordinate that? Someone, <laughs> Nick Sandman, if your if your PR people are listening, please go on Kill Tony and <laughs> and do well, and then come out to uh, Inter Sandman when he makes you just act like you're retarded or something. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, the dream! I can't uh, wait. Yeah. The goal, the goal is. Are to you still signing up every week? Nice. Shamelessly, you're gonna, dude. You're gonna get it, dude. You're gonna get it, and you're gonna wreck. I love, uh, I love you. I think it's gonna be great. I only like like me, and I, uh, I'm hoping for the best. You've come a long way from Iowa, dude. Think about Thank that. You. Thank you. Think about that. Let's talk about that. I've never been. I've been to Iowa. Des Moines is Iowa, right? Yes, the yeah, five on to, five. I've been to Des Moines. I played a show. I played a show with Born of Osiris in Des Moines on that last tour we went on. Oh shit! At the big one of the big venues in Des Moines. Des Moines was cool. Which was <clears> the, <throat> wait? The, no, 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 no. Was that Des Moines? Yeah, it was. Was it a skating rink? No. Let me look it up again. Can I say no? You know what I mind. Mean? I don't want to. I don't want to ruin everything good we have going for us. Des Moines is a fun city. There's like this uh, comedian of uh, Dustin Nickerson. He had like a podcast clip online of him being like, "I think Des Moines is just as fun as Austin, Texas." And I was like, "Yo, shout out!" <laughs> I was like, "Shout out, dude. We're better it than was, Austin." It was. It was. Des Moines is a fun city. I like the city and I like the people. Of Des Moines. Oh, no, 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 no. So we played a routing date by ourselves when we were on our way back home, I think, in Des Moines at uh, Lou, Louis? Louis? I don't know that one. Uh, but we were playing in, uh, no, I guess that was, yeah, that was Omaha. I was getting it confused with the other. Oh, uh, yeah, the corn, other one. The other corn state out there or whatever. Nebraska. Nebraska. Would be Omaha yeah. should not be in Nebraska. There's been, a, there's been a movement for a long time that no one's really taken seriously, and I want to push it. Um, I'll look into this camera. Omaha, come to Iowa. You're right on the border. Annex. I want to annex Omaha into Iowa so bad. We'll take the money. Warren Buffett lives there. We'll take him. <laughs> we'll give you a pro sports team. I mean, just come to Iowa, get the fuck out of Nebraska, and have a good time. Come home. Come home. Come on home. Omaha. Come home. Yeah, I don't remember where we played in Des Moines. It was like has a dog. Lefties. 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 Le I know lefties. We played lefties. Lefties, lefties, lefties music. rules. I lefties love lefties. Rules. Shout out Des Moines. Shout out lefties. I had a great chai latte across the street. Des Moines yes. rips, dude. Des I Des Moines love rips. Lefties. It was cold as fuck. There was still snow. On on. There was snow on the to, ground. Next to Drake. Yeah. Yes, I know lefties. But yeah, they, that's where I used to do comedy at lefties. Dude, every they do a Tuesday comedy open mic at Lefties, and no it was always like that a was fun. sick music venue. Fuck yeah, it was cool. If as you shit. go way back, there's photos of Can me. Can you pull like, up pictures Facebook. of Lefties in Des Moines? It, the dog died. You know, uh, no, I don't know anything about. So the Lefties, lefties was dog. a dog that would run around at this open mic and, <laughs> and oftentimes ruin it. <laughs> it would oftentimes ruin the fucking open mic. They, they'd have their dog just. Run in. That's so fucking. And, and Lefty, Lefty, like Lefty, like owned the fucking. Yeah, dude, there's the dog there uh, on the second row down. He's got a little bandage on him, dude. I love. No, right, I had so much. I had so much fun at this venue. So Lefty's front left leg is missing. This is why they called him Lefty, which is mean. <laughs> Wait, he has both of them there. Uh, that might no, be just the back right leg. Legs. That's the back legs. Oh, and the front right leg. He's missing his left oh, leg. Oh, I see, I see. But lefty, like, lefty, Ew, like, he's like standing on the fucking bar. It's <laughs> yeah, disgusting. That's so unsanitary. That's so disgusting. Yeah, there's lefty. Dude. Lefty passed. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. But what lefty a would boy. run around during the open mic, and lefty would like run onto the stage and like do like laps on the stage, and, like just ruin your set. <laughs> Your set that was already kind of going yeah. horribly. Dude, no one was there. It was already a bad time. And then Lefty would come up and be like, <laughs> You're like, so anyway, my girlfriend's a bitch. And uh, I don't. And, and, and the dog's just <laughs> doing tricks and it's missing legs. So you're just like, th you have to look at it. You well, know? and you're like, Oh, you're, anytime you see a dog with one limb, that's like, you're like, That dog's killing it. That dog's living its life. It's still happy. It, it's about the little things. Like, there's all this yeah. lesson that seeing a fucking three legged dog teaches you yes. in, in a second. Well, notice. Lefty's prepared me for Austin because everyone in Austin's like, Oh, we're mad. All these crippled people are taking away from us on Kill Tony. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm used to having a crippled take my stage time. I'm, I'm used to crippleds from being the hero of the show, okay? Holy shit. Yeah, dude, I'm lefty, totally, lefty trained. Totally true lefty trained, dude. People dude. are like, lefty's limbs he are deformed. Your... And I was like, yeah, so are all the up-and-coming comedians of Austin. <laughs> yeah, so are all the most successful comics here. Yeah, dude, have you looked at these <laughs> rosters? Yeah, that would venue fucking rips, though. 
I love Lefties. Lefties Live Music is an amazing venue in Des Moines. Uh, the, the the staff there has always treated me very well. Actually, that's not true. The, I love the the lady, the the couple that owns it and runs it. They're awesome. When I was I started comedy when I was eighteen, so when I was like nineteen and twenty, I'd go to Lefties in Des Moines, and the door guy. I think the law has changed, but bless their soul for blessing the for following the law. But the door guy used to walk. They, they, at nine o'clock, you couldn't be in a bar under twenty one, so I did start the mic at eight fifty five. I would go up first. I went first for like two years. I did the first set every time I went there. And then the literally the door guy would stand next to the stage and like grab my arm every time and walk me to the door and I would leave. Which was kind of a dream because that means I never had to watch the shitty open mic. Wait, so you guys weren't allowed to be in there? I couldn't be because I was under 21. Oh. I was under 21. I see. They, I they, didn't just, they couldn't just X your hands out or something like that. No, they here. had to. There was like, it was like a zoning thing. I think the law may have changed to one, but I would go on at 855, and then they would literally like grab my arm and walk me out of the venue every time. Damn. Every show. Crazy. It was crazy. But I used to have a, like a terrible fear of opening shows, and then in my first like two or three years of comedy, just got rid of it because it was like I had to open every open mic. So I was like, yeah. I don't want to go first. I don't want to go first. Now I'm like, I'll go. I and mean, that's what I knew. You know, that's yeah. all I did for the first three years was open every show. What, what really is the difference? You have to educate me because I'm a new, I'm new to comedy still. Yeah. Like what is, how do you get used to opening or like what is the difference between, because opening a show, like a metal show kind of sucks. Or it's kind of different, but not really. I mean, your biggest concern is like have people made it through the door because at like bigger shows, like, you know, yeah. like, let's say you're opening for White Chapel or some big metal band. Yeah. And <clears throat> like they'll put the, the the show will be at seven. They'll put the first person on at 730. They're still checking fucking bags and, yeah, and yeah. Scan- beeping people and shit and trying to get people's ticket scan. And sometimes it's, like, it's that. It, and so like you're kind of performing while people are walking in and then you're not, which is not that bad when you're playing music. But it's annoying because you're like the whole point of us being here. We're not even getting paid for this. This is just like we're. This is just exposure time for us. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're yeah, trying yeah. to get. We're trying to play in front of all White Chapels fans or whatever, so they can see us. Maybe so they can like, see we us. Check you out. Yeah, and be like, oh, cool. We have a good local band here or whatever. And then when yeah. you're not, when you're playing, dude, like we played like the big venue one time for summer. You remember Summer Slaughter? No. Tour. It's like a huge thing that they used to. They just brought it back, but. Um, it was like the biggest metal tour of the year. That's cool. Ex- extreme metal tour of the year with like death metal bands, and they would uh, they put us on at like the biggest, the big venue in Portland, right? And uh, that's huge. Yeah, it was fucking huge. It was like 2012. It was like our big, our, one of our big moments at, at our, you know, as a local band. <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, we, you know, we get in there. There's like nobody in there, and they're like they're like rushing us to get up there. Oh no. And it's like we're playing. Uh, it was the most miserable set. We br- guitarist. My guitarist forgot his guitar. It's like the biggest set of his life. He's oh like, oh no. shit! I forgot my guitar. <laughs> Luckily, we had like a backup guitar because we, we always that. bring a backup. So we Thank played God. on a backup, and then the string broke on a on the backup guitar. And oh, like no. job for a cowboy's fucking uh, guitar tech, like fucking Houdini, his guitar string in like two seconds and wow. fixed it and gave it to him, which was cool. But anyway, it was like they were rushing us. We fucked up a bunch, and yeah. there was like nobody in the room and oh, it was well, like what's the point you know i mean at like, least this there was, was no <laughs> at least there was nobody well, I mean, in the there room. was people in the room but like it wasn't the packed room that we had envisioned playing to and, like really be. killing it in front of all these yeah. people in our city so is that kind of similar with or it seems like they no, call it they comparison. call it cold opening in stand-up i think right? what it is is uh i think there's a level of like um it's like it, like in in theater there's like a suspension of disbelief right or it's like or it's like, I think it's like, oh, time for me to sit down and get used to, like, the cadence of a comedy show. Kind of, I think it's just, like, you just have to get the crowd's, like, inertia going of, like, mm. oh, now I'm here. Now I'm sitting down. Now I'm watching yeah. a show. You're done with work. Yeah. Like, yeah. for movies, they have credits. And you <clears> kind of get used to watching the credits. And then the movie starts, and you're like, I'm already locked in. And it's just getting their attention and being like, all right, everyone get here mm. and get on the same page so we can start laughing and rolling. Yeah. And some people just can't do that. I mean, I, mean, I think it's that. I think also, like, when you're doing the show, sometimes people are like, I'm here to see the headliner. You know, I'm here right. to see Louis C.K. And they're like annoyed that they have to see 10 minutes of you up top or whatever. Like, you know, like if it's a headlining show, if it's like, you know, like the regulars that kill Tony show on Tuesday, yeah. it's a great show. I think one time I went there and everyone was like, we're here for Cam Patterson, we're here for Cam. And Cam's great. But when you're on stage, they're like, oh, God, it's another guy that's not the one guy yeah. I came here to see. Yeah. And so I think there's sometimes that you have to like fight the uphill battle of like, you have to justify why you're there. But at an open mic, it's just the same as any other set. I think some people hope that, like, maybe later on more people are going to show up at the mm-hmm. open mic. 
But <clears> from the experience <throat> that I've had is the longer open mics go, <laughs> the more people leave. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think early on you're like, oh, I want to go later so that way the crowd's warmed up. But I think you realize as you get more and more into comedy, you're like, oh, there is no, going to be no crowd later. Because we're all bad, dude. And some of the hosts, and I don't want to. I'm not going to single anybody out, but some of the, some of the, sometimes the host of the open mic is just, oh god, just. I I get that it's a thankless job. It almost makes me want to like be Batman. Like let me yeah. fucking host this thing. There's a hundred comics to get through, and yeah. you're you're going up there, and it, go, don't 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 try to be funny. No, just like, don't just, even do material. Just don't even do material. Just go up there and try to. You know what I mean? There's a couple hosts that'll get up there. They'll sit on the fucking stool and they'll go. <sighs> dude, I, <laughs> just, and you're like, dude, I, yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't even want to name That's how we place. all feel. We're trying to fucking, yeah, we don't. Have to I, go I also, I don't like when the hosts like, like if someone bombs really bad, you get like, I think you get like one roast line, right? And it has to be like a silly. It can't be like a hard roast line. You have to be like a pretty like throwaway like. Like if your whole set line. is about like how like I like I don't I don't want to have sex with my mom I don't want to or something yeah. like weird like that you're like that guy wants to have sex with his mom <laughs> exactly Boom. anyway anyway next this comic. next comic is cool yeah yeah like that like like you get like yeah like you can have like a throwaway line but bring on the next guy pretty quick right I think the best venue for an open mic and I love the Vel- Velveeta Rooms open mic on Thursdays mm-hmm. they took a hiatus for the summer I hope it comes back yeah I love it they do it's a mix between uh, shotgun style and traditional hosting. They host it with a god mic in the back. Yeah. So the second you get off stage, they go, and up next, right. so-and-so. That's how most of them are here, to be really? honest. I love the god mic open mic. I think it's is the best because it's the fastest, and there's no pressure. The host can't do time because they're just a voice in the back. If yeah. they have a line, they can say it over the intercom, but otherwise it's just like, and next is this, yeah. and next is this. And I think that's the fastest way to get through mics, and I like getting through mics fast. Yeah. So... Dude, it, <clears throat> something else I just remembered I wanted to talk to you about. Go for it. Was something that we recently experienced, and we can ease in. We can ease into that. Oh boy. We could ease into that. Uh, but uh, we were we were talking the other night. We were at uh, we were at the bar, and we were talking about throwbacks the other night. Oh yeah, and just how like how crazy it was that we were listening to like Get Low oh, by yeah. Little John at our like. <laughs> and we were just listening, and our teachers were like, from the window to the wall. At my, like, seventh grade dance, we were listening oh, to no. fucking sweat drop down my, my balls. balls. Yeah. And it's like, yo, is this appropriate? Was that appropriate? You no, know? dude, that whole generation of music was so horny. It was so dude. horny, dude. Because like, it was like the fresh out of, like, R&B into, like, early hip-hop was just, like, devious. <laughs> like, dude. In every song, dude. And they were just trying to like they were just trying to horny up the youth so bad. And I, they did, I think and they I think our so generation well. experienced it like I mean I think everyone is like every generation is more and more sexualized. I think this younger generation is like I think they were like okay we got to dial it back here. You think they're gonna be you know more I mean? like evangelical? I think they like, are. They're my, gonna, they're gonna... my little brothers and his friends are like way more. Um... Sex is gay, dude. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Not even gay, just bro. like 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 tradition. They're, they're way more like uh, they're way more traditional. They're really? way more like, dude. Like my little brother. I mean, I was. I mean, I think I told you this, but I was talking to my little. I was talking about, it was like my older brother and I and my younger brother, all three of us. We were talking about like How dances. Old? My older brother's two years older than me. My younger brother's like five years, six years younger than yeah. me. And we were talking, and my older brother and I were like, dude, grinding is like crazy. Like I, you know, you don't grind in adulthood. I thought grinding the, like when a girl's like gyrating her hips on your penis ass, area. ass on your ass on your your hips. Yeah, yeah. ass on your hips on hips. Because, like, we, that's all we did in, like, middle school and high school was just grind. Yeah. Tony, you know night. about grinding. Yeah. Tony, yeah. you know about grinding. You just, and it's, dude. Tony, th- Tony, come and, on. And, and, yeah, Tony, come, come on, dude. Tony. You're a fucking, you're a, Tony, you're, back it up. That's, back that back, ass over. Back, back it up. <laughs> come on now, Tony. Now stop. Tony, damn, Tony's getting low right now. Yes, can't see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tony, you guys can't see this, but Tony is just bussing it down uh, yeah, right dude, now, dude. Dumb. Dumb. Yeah, he's, <laughs> we he's got him, fully we got rizzed up, dude. He's gooning hard over there. Um, <laughs> I'm about dude, to break and, edge. And also the 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 male the male part of the male like it's if you were gonna narrate like a like a dance like that like like fucking do uh, nothing like like Peter Attenborough or whatever his name is from fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. from fucking like uh, the, the documentaries. Ma- the male seventh grader, uh, he he's seeking to mount a female because <laughs> that's what it is. Is the guys just it go, is. the guys go in there, they spot the one they want, and they're like, all right, I'm gonna go after Jenny. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're and all they, in, and they just start like gyrating over so creepily, and then they yeah. they try to like swing into their rhythm, yeah. And then the girl looks over like, ew, and then if she sees, oh my god, it's Brandon, the hot football player guy, she's like, yeah. You know what I mean? But 
then it, but then if it's fucking me or like another, you know, another son, because she's like, uh, you know, and they just go along to dude, the, they go along part find of somebody. Me, that that that's why I never went to those really. Dude, every never got part of me, when I think about it, like in hindsight, like I feel like genuinely embarrassed because I was so lame. And to be the girl that's to dance, I'm sure you were just like, oh God, Matt. <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> And I was just like chubbed up a present, you know what yeah. I mean? Like that's so like I feel so like every part of it feels so violating and bad. <laughs> His breath smells like cheddar cheese but Pringles. Every, but everyone was doing it. <laughs> everyone did it. Like yeah. it was the thing that like like it'd be different if it was like it was just me. You That'd were a, be crazy. You were a pussy if you didn't do it. Oh, literally, it'd be like, dude, and it'd be, and people would be like, dude. Ground you won't, and it'd be like, oh yeah, watch, and then you'd yeah. go do it, and then you're like, T she didn't like that, yeah, like so just disgusting, and it, and also like, God, I'm trying to even think of like, if you were if you're like popular, they would push you into the center, and if you were like unpopular like me, you'd be on the outside, being like, mm, maybe next dance I'll find someone to grind just with me. Just drinking that non-alcoholic punch with the boys. God damn it, <laughs> so sad, so sad. Ooh, another pineapple. Uh, you're like trying to get the floater. Dude, I didn't drink at all in high school. I don't think I did. I think I tried it once, and then I drank a lot after high school. Like I tried it once when I was like sixteen. Really? I tried weed and uh, so much cooler. I, I tried weed and alcohol the same night, and we like walked to the park and met up with these girls, and they had the weed and the alcohol. They were like bad girls. You know Ooh. what I mean? I did it right after I graduated. I went to a party. Like like the day I graduated, I went to a party yeah. and like drank, and I was like, yeah, baby, I can do it now. Yeah, I'm a fucking drinker now. I did, my biggest mistake was not getting a fake ID. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did actually drink like right before I graduated. There yeah, were some parties so cool. happening and shit. I, regardless, though, I think my little brother was telling me that his generation doesn't grind. He was like, <laughs> none of us. Like, oh, yeah. Even, sorry. He would, he went, and he was they don't grind on each other. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know what they do. I don't know. He like, because <laughs> it's all that I know. <laughs> they just like do the twist. Like, yeah, like it's know. the 50s. I don't know, but he was telling me he, he went to like other high schools and he was like, I went to all these other high schools and like none of them because he was like, he was so much cooler than me, so he was getting asked by other, you know, girls from other schools to go to their dances. Damn. And he was like, they don't grind at all at the other schools or our school anymore. And I was like, no way. And he was like, yeah, dude, your generation is freaky as fuck, and we all think it. Like, your generation was, like, weird as shit for doing that, and that's violative and, like, weird. weird. It was like, you know what? It was like Adam taking a bite of the apple where you realize you had sinned. You were like... Oh fuck, that was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He's God like, oh dude, dude I mean, the snake was fucking right. He's like, dude, my dick is out. I didn't even realize until now. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the craziest revelation of all time. By the way, I think about that. My my family's religious, so like, I'll think of like religious stories. All I mean, just imagine Adam and Eve didn't even realize they were naked. They were like, naked's not bad, and then they took a bite of fruit, and they were like. Bro, I should feel bad about my body. I should cover up. This is nobody <laughs> wants to see this. My <laughs> flaccid, my flaccid penis in the Just garden. Immediately, like like before they could process like lying or like death or like yeah. any other sin, they were just like. Oh God! I gotta put on pants. My cock looks weird. Yeah, exactly. It's, my cock is not flattering unless it's hard. <laughs> He's like, this is not meant to be seen on the reg. And Eve's got armpit hair, so she's not turning me on. <laughs> yeah, that's like I'm soft first. as fuck. Body shaming was the first sin. No one, no one talks about body, but they were immediately because before they could process like what even lying was, they were just yeah. like, "Ah, oh, damn it! I gotta put a leaf or something. <laughs> I gotta. I don't know what clothes are. We have to invent those yet, dude." But we were at the. We were at. I don't know if we should say we we're. I guess we could. We were at Mitzi's and hanging yeah, out, yeah, yeah. and they were. Uh, they, they had cleared everybody out of the bar. Yeah. And We're at friends and family hours. Yeah, and there was two. There was an old couple left, dude. Mm. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Oh, now? bro. Do you remember? Hang on. Close oh. your eyes. Close your eyes. No, dude, close stop. your eyes. Close know, your eyes. You're close do. your eyes. Ready? <laughs> dude, this dude. You, you describe it. it. You yeah, describe okay. it better. So I turn around. There's this couple, gray hair, wrinkles. I don't know how 60s. old. Sixties, sixties, early seventies. Guy was older than the woman. But well, when I first sat down, they were like they were facing each other, kind of like you know, kind of like close to the face, like uh, like like oh they're, right. they're really talking, they're really hitting it off. And yeah. then eventually it goes where she is like eighty percent off of her chair in his lap. She's like straddling him from her bar stool. It's like they're facing each other like this, and it's if my legs were like up on your legs. Yeah, their their legs are like intertwined. They're scissoring. They're scissoring <laughs> in their chairs. <laughs> If, if the, if the best comedy club in the world. It's so it's weird. In the greatest comedy club in the, one of the greatest comedy clubs in the world, top five undeniably. And he just starts, and her legs are like out. I don't know what she was wearing, but you could see her whole leg, and he just starts. Her sixty year old cellulite leg. She's wearing like uh, she's wearing something that like I don't even know, like a twenty year old would wear. 
Yeah. They're dressed sexy. She's dressed yeah, she's sexy. Yeah, she's dressed like sexy. And he a just sexy starts, six year old. Which just, go for her. He's just hand in her ass. Palming her. Palming her ass, which is her whole ass is out, and she's late 60s. And then he just starts, and then it's that's not enough. Like he's so horned up, he can't just grab the ass. He just starts. Yeah, and well, it's like it's those short distance like pitter patters, like, like mm, I'm gonna take you home. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, what it was. I can't you know, wait to get you. What he's saying. Yeah, I can't wait to get you home. You know, he's saying just, dude, just, like just that. slapping her ass. Yeah, at, and it's crazy because I'm facing away from this, and I'm like, and I and I know it's happening, and because you can hear an earshot. And you're like, that's not normal. So I turn around. I just see it. There's that he's. I see. I turn around. I see what's going on. And then yeah, it's just like the wrestling. I, I can't stop hearing. And I'm like, yeah. oh god, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on behind me? And dude, I have. I'm sitting across from you. This is happening over here behind you. I'm sitting directly across from you. And basically, <laughs> all that I can see between your head and we were standing with Brent Reed. We were hanging out with Brent Reed. Between your heads, yeah. all I can see is exactly under the bar where his hand is touching her leg. That's oh, yeah. all I can see is that hand. Beautiful, just what going. a beautiful sight. Oh, just dude. It, dude. Oh. You know what the best part of the situation was? Was it went on for so long? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't like we caught a guy slapping his lady's ass once. It wasn't like because hey, if you catch a guy slapping his lady's ass, I don't care what your age you are, that's cool. Right. But it was like this was going on for an offensively long like, time. Like uh, 20, 30 minutes. Like like too long. And, and the then, bartenders were like thinking it was funny, so they kind of were like just let. I think they, they were let them. Yeah, they let them chill for a while after yeah. they kicked everybody out. They kicked. They kicked everyone out. That was the best part. They were like, hey, everyone, time to leave if you're not friends and family. Right. And I always get nervous when that happens, but I've never been kicked out, but I always get nervous. And I was kicked out one night, like, early on when I was first here. But ever since then, I've been, like, people are like, oh, no, you can stay. Yeah. Now, people are leaving the, the Mitzis, and they, they're the last non-comics there. <laughs> and, <laughs> they're and, and, still and, smacking her, and, too. And, and, they're, making and out, they're making out, too, this they're whole like, time. They're like, they start making out, yeah. And the best part is, is, is they kick them out. They're like, hey— you guys have to leave. We're closed. We've kicked everyone else out. And they were like, oh, we didn't get tickets to the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they were like, they were like throwing up at They're like, but we wanted tickets to the show. Well, the lady actually, the guy was just chilling. And he had that like kind of like dazed boner face on, you know? He yeah. Was his, like, his I'm Cialis getting pussy at some point tonight, dude. Yeah, he's he was, like, he, was, he was just thinking. He was like, it's crazy. I'm 60 years old, still getting pussy, dude. He was like, <laughs> he was like dude, I never thought I'd be getting pussy this late, dude. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? He was just jacked. And so she... She starts like taking point. She's like and yelling she at the point. staff. Yeah, she took point on the Karen bitch fit, dude. She and she was like, "What? I don't. I can't believe I, you said I, we were gonna get tickets. You said if we didn't get tickets, that our drinks were gonna be free." She was just, like, like saying, saying all, shit just that like, wasn't saying even shit true. That was so not true. And they were just like the the staff has had has so much fun with these two at the time. I think that they were that from watching just how ridiculous <laughs> they were. So worth they it. were like, guys, get out of here. Get out. Yeah, you get out of here. They but also like, like the but also staff like. Was even bad but also like dude like the dude they were they were so this couple is so horny and so old it's like <laughs> so, i hope just, we're painting a picture from people I, right i now. love I, I like the fact that there's even like being like hey you guys have to leave and the media thought is like let's just go home and bone is wild because it's like hey just do it he's up right now yeah. okay he's not gonna be able to hold you're it you're running longer. out of time yeah, dude, the <laughs> Viagra, most of you in four hours, and you've been doing this for one and a half yeah. year, okay? Sir, how long has your dick been hard? Yeah, dude, just, just How much go. time you got left on that pill, dude? The, the, the fact that you're even protesting, leave. <laughs> you, you need to go home, Get you need to get out, get on a lime scooter, go to the Hilton, <laughs> go up to the 13th floor, and fuck now. Get, get a, uh, get one of those. The pedicab. Yeah, get us, get us, get one of those senior. Get a guy rich get one on of those, you. Like, get one of those senior special Ubers. Whatever yeah. those are, the handicapped Uber. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just get Blow out of here. Him in have... the back. Yeah. What are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. But I love the idea. In my mind, I go, like, what would have happened if, because, like, they wanted tickets into the showroom? Oh, yeah. Imagine if that couple is sitting in a comedy show and just, like, watching the show and they're still, like, so, like sat visibly horny like that. And he's, <laughs> like, like, a comedian's, like, bombing. And in between the bombs, he's, like, yeah, what's the other airplane food? And all he hears. And he looks out, and you can see no one is clapping, and he's like, where is that sound coming <laughs> yeah. from? Ugh, there's so, old oh people fucking in the front row. There's, oh, there's a guy slapping his girlfriend's ass. <laughs> Imagine if they're just in the showroom, so it's like, they're like ruining people's yeah. jokes, he just can't stop slapping her ass. Somebody, somebody said that we were sitting with was like, there's no way that's first marriage love. 
<laughs> like that was like totally second marriage love for sure, dude. Yeah, you have to restart at fifty if you want that. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. you have to reset if you want that sort of. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's that's. I married for money this time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been married before? No, nah, dude. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> have I been married? No, I dude. Know. I was in a, I was in a long term relationship. I did that. Yeah, it was it was really bad. She was how an did abuser. that how did that she was an abuser. Yeah, it was a nightmare. I had to get out. Oh, really? I moved to Austin. <laughs> 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 nah, dude. Yeah, she uh, she would like uh, you were... stalk me and attack me. No way. Yeah, dude. And then uh, she fucked all my friends. And then oh wow. Yeah, but then she fucked all my friends. And then I was like, I would date all all comedians too. And then I would date non comics. And then she would get mad. And we were broken up with that. I was seeing non comics. Was she a comic? She she started doing comedy. Uh, we dated for uh, six or seven months, and then she started doing stand up. What a bitch! Because it was like, oh, she's at every open mic anyway. She might as well just do it. She might as well just do it and, and fuck then, all the open micers. Yeah, that's what just, it's exactly what she did. <laughs> it's like all my friends, and I was like, she, I guess I have no friends. I guess. Yeah, I guess she was so hot. She was a gorgeous woman, yeah. terrible person, just like awful. Like you didn't blame your homies. You're like, I understand, dude. And I know. I think they're all terrible people too. Yeah, I think they okay. all suck. They, I, know, yeah, I think I think they they're bad friends. Better. She was really hot. Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, and then that happened, and I was just like, so we, we broke up for, like, practical reasons, and then that happened on top of it. And then I was going on dates with women, and she would, like, stalk them, and, like, she literally stalked me on a date and attacked a woman as she left my house. <gasps> hooked up a lady, she left my house, she attacked. And at this time, dude, mind you, she was hooking up with my friends. And she was Whoa. still stalking and attacking me. And then, so then it was, like, this weird, it was, like, we will get back together so you stop attacking people in my life. Because it was just, like, affecting my social life, everything she was doing. Wow. Like, in you were comedy. Like not getting spots because you had the crazy bitch following dude, you around. Dude, she was going into, like, Chicago had Facebook pages where it would be, like, are we dating the same guy? Yeah, yeah. Chicago? Austin has those, too. I think I've seen She people. would go in them, and she would, like, submit photos of me to women. And she would follow my Instagram. Every time I added her on Instagram. Dude, this stuff I learned after the matter. Every time I added anyone on Instagram, she would, like, send them messages or, like, or, like, Stuff like that. And then when we ended up getting back together, she took my phone at night. I, I just learned about this. Like, I just talked to one lady. And she texted all the women from my phone being like, being like, back off. I'm here now. Like, it was crazy. So we broke up. <coughs> she went to all my friends. I saw non-comics. She got mad. Sent them all threats from my phone. Stalked me on dates. She ruined all your prospects. She ruined all my prospects. All your prospects. While she just kept fucking my friends. <laughs> <laughs> like what did you do to this woman? I literally don't know. And I was like, it was like the most, like it was the most, dude. She so it was so funny. She recorded the breakup on her phone, the audio from it, and then she sent it to she me. She was doing one of these. She said, yeah, I didn't realize. She sent it to me, and I like I played it back, and it was just like, hey, like our lives are really busy. I'm super committed to everything comedy right now, and you seem to want more attention from me. I can't do that. I'm trying to have you. I like, I keep asking you to respect my boundaries and like respect my time. Like I'm loyal to you. I'm taking her on dates and everything. It's just we're not seem to work in our lifestyles don't seem to be compatible right now. You don't seem to understand what I'm going through. I was like going through financial problems and I was like, yeah. I just like I think I respectfully need to end this. And she was like, Oh yeah? And I was like, Yeah, I mean, I just like I just don't see this relationship <laughs> moving forward. It was it was the most She's talking to you like it's a fucking UFC fight conference. But she sent me oh, the yeah, audio. motherfucker. She you sent me think you're gonna <laughs> fucking break up with me, bitch? Dude, she's like, that's she, crazy. She literally she sent me the audio and she's like, dude, what if what if I sent this to everyone? And it was just me being like, Hey, I just respectfully think we need to end this because you don't seem happy in this. <laughs> Right now, and it's making me unhappy that you're unhappy, and I don't want us both to be unhappy. Like, she was trying to cancel you off, like, being a totally, like, open yeah. and vulnerable guy. Yeah, but that was, that was, like, in the early phrase of the relationship. She's like, what if I take this? And I was like, you can. You yeah, can. Go, just go for it, sister. You totally can. <clears throat> no. And that was, that was, it was wild. wild. It was wild. That's crazy. So I've never been married, but I've had a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I never, I just, I skipped the honeymoon phase and went straight to, to nightmare divorce. Yeah. Just a two year nightmare, dude. It was bad. I always say that all my I've only <laughs> I've only been with like I, I don't I don't have a lot of sexual experiences. I'm trying to like be so more cool. I'm trying to be more vocal uh so open. Yeah, I'm trying to be more open and like vulnerable about like just my experience and what makes me different and just try to figure out how to write stuff yeah. about that so I can That's beautiful. You know what I mean? And one of the things is like I've only had sex with like four people in my life. Wow. And one of them is my fiance who God, I've, I've been I'm with so, for eleven years. But <clears throat> I'm so jealous of that. Yeah, dude. This you know this, I'm so so jealous this, of that. This, I want this that. dick ain't free, dude. I as can a, actually say as that. Like, as like a Midwest kid who was raised like super Christian, I'm so mad at the man I've become. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at all the puss I've smashed. Dude. It's it's disgusting, dude. I have chlamydia right now. <laughs> 
I'm not even joking. I'm on, the, I'm on my last day of chlamydia medication. No, you're not. I'm not joking, dude. No, you're not. I've been raw dogging whores in Austin. Ew, and I'm, dude. It's a just, dude, I'm. <laughs> Brother, ew. Dude. <laughs> Brother, uh. <laughs> I look how disgusting I've become. I'm on chlamydia medication. I don't even care. I don't even care that it's public knowledge. Right. Disgusting. I hate the man I've become. You're like, well, it's something to talk about on the pod. I hate the man I've become. Deeply. I'm like, well, dude, thank God. This medication ain't free, dog. <laughs> but I was, I was lucky in that, like, I was kind of like Goldilocks. With all ah. my with all my things, where I was like, this one I don't care about at all. You know what I mean? And, like, and I'm like, this one I like way too much, and she doesn't like me at all. Yeah, you know what I mean? And like, this one's scary, and then this one is just right. Or it's like it was like this one's yeah. my first one. You know what yeah, I mean? This like, one, the, yeah, yeah, this one's and, scary. This one's and then, yeah, and so it was like I had like there was like a girl that like I was like in love with or whatever at the time and I, and she was like I'm going to you know I'm yeah. not I'm not into you. I'm not into you like that or whatever and then there was another girl that was like and I like accidentally said the coldest shit that I've ever said so cool <clears throat> like cuz she was like Hey, like, well, she tried to pregnancy, fake pregnancy scare me. Oh, no. I yeah. and know she, someone she fake pregnancy too. scared me. She, like, she was like, oh, my God, like, you, we need, you, like, leave work. Like, I'll get an abortion, but, like, you have to pay, help me pay for it. And just, like, don't leave me to, like, do this by myself. Isn't it so and I was like, And I was like, oh, my God, okay, okay, okay. And she was like, she, it was, it was all I think I'm pregnant stuff right now. You know what I mean? And then yeah. she's like, so I leave work. I'm like, oh, my God, my whole life is fucking, like, on the yeah. risk of crumbling because this chick sucks. Yeah. I do not want anything to do with this girl long term yeah you're like then, oh no well and then this what really did it for me was like right before that the batman shooting happened oh in the movie theaters she, yeah and yeah. she came out and started making a joke like on facebook like when facebook was still hot she came yeah. out and was like and she like knew all the metal guys and stuff and like the area and she was like if it was me like he was couldn't kill enough people or she said something just so fucking dumb uh, just like just a total just miss. a total miss like trying to be edgy yeah and it was like oh i cannot be associated with this girl so i was already kind of like not, yeah you knew yeah. i was already not cutting and then, and then she would like come over and like we would like hook up Nightmare. and then i and then i would be like i have to work early in the morning and i would like give her her keys <laughs> <laughs> it was like I wasn't even trying to be I was trying to be transparent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. and then so she does the pregnancy scare thing. I buy the pregnancy test. She just did that because she could tell you're on the way. Out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so I she did the pregnancy scare thing. And so she takes the test and like takes in the bathroom. And then she uh apparently pisses on her or whatever. And she like comes back out. And I was like, Can I like yeah, well, are we good? And she's like, Yeah, it's fine. It's not, it's it was, it was, it was uh you know, uh, whatever, inconclusive or whatever. It's not, yeah. it, I'm not pregnant. And I was like, okay, well, can I see it? And she was like, oh, I just like already, I already like threw it away. Like, like I, and, and I was like, okay, this is weird. And then after all that, it's like, she thought that would bring us closer together, but I'm just like, no, fucking dude, women are crazy. get this woman away from me. Women and are she was crazy. like, so this is one of my four. This is like, this is why, this is like, yeah. this is why it's like, oh, I'm God. glad I'm happy with where I'm at right now. My girl's not crazy. You know what I mean? Well, but dude, like, this it, woman was like, goes, Oh god, no, go it's so bad. No, it's just it's just like uh yeah, it was just like she was just like very like over the span of like 3 years like very systemically it would like pick apart my social life oh, and yeah. it was like the and, girl you're talking about. Yeah, and yeah. I yeah, and she would always tell me she'd go like and this is like we had broken up and gone back there twice, mm -hmm. right? Under different contexts every time. The second time was like I was just trying to keep her happy, being mm -hmm. like if I can just keep her happy. I can like live a normal life, but it was like an, in living in terror. Yeah, like it was like I was entrapped in this relationship because it was like if I leave, she's gonna go and make it. She's worse. gonna ruin my life. Yeah. She's gonna go and, and make it worse. You'll take the abuse over the life. If ruining. I stay, I'll be unhappy. So I just got I have to leave this town. And you were, <laughs> but it was no, it was no, and she knew that, and she and she knew that, and then the stage before that was kind of bad too. But she would say things like, you have no one now. You have no friends. They're my friends. They're, oh, I got invited to a party. You used to get invited to comedian parties, but now they're inviting me and not you. That's crazy. And it was like, and it was like living in the headspace of like, and she would tell me that no one trusted me or like no one liked me. Or like I was talking, no one likes you anymore. Dude, that or like, was. like even early on. And so. How I, old were you? This is like uh, a year ago. I'm a year out of it. Oh, shit. And it, but I lived, in the, I lived in the constant headspace of like, she was like, no one likes you. So it's like, I couldn't go to anyone. I felt like I couldn't go to anyone. Mm. And or like or like oh there's this party you're not invited because no one likes you and so like I would go out and I I kind of became like this manic mess where like if you did like me before you definitely didn't like me and like the last well like, you stopped year trusting and a half, everybody I didn't trust right. anyone yeah and I would go to open mics and I want all I wanted to do was comedy and I just feel like it was like just all the comedians I would just look out and it'd be like oh uh, it was like I just didn't I felt gross I felt yeah. like I was being like a judge on a very personal level Weird. all of a sudden that bitch 
And then I came to Austin, my comedy immediately became like silly again. And I was like, nice. oh, I'm back, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, after started that. started having fun again. After that, I started, I started <clears throat> plowing through. <laughs> <laughs> you started getting chlamydia left I go, and right? I go, you know, no, was, I've had it once. I've had it once, which is just enough to know that you're cool. <laughs> Dude, now yeah, that, I'm now definitely that not cool then. Now that I've had one, <laughs> now that I've had one, I go, all right, I've done it. Now I'm good. Now I got to find a wife. Yeah, now I want to settle down. You yeah, just, dude. You just go until you have chlamydia. That's like playing a survival. It's like playing PUBG. Well, it's it, like playing it a survival game. Week. You just chlamydia like... only lasts a week. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I've never had an STD. Oh, yeah. No. Cl- so chlamydia, it's like, it's like, uh, It'd be like getting like an infection, mm. like 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 an infected cut on your arm. Oh yeah, you take and antibiotics. So, yeah, you take antibiotics and it goes away in a week, yeah. and then you don't shit have your it pants at for all. a week or whatever, and then not at all. I haven't no. shit, I haven't done that. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I walk. Right I do now. have a diaper. You on. do have a diaper on this whole time, dude. <laughs> yeah. No. I. Uh, so I've been. Yeah. <laughs> Qu- <quimidia. laughs> <laughs> oh, do I do I have a little bit of the quitty media? <laughs> quitty media. <laughs> a little bit of quitty media. Uh, oh wait, but to finish the, the but thing it goes I, away in a week. Anyway, the, the thing I accidentally said to this girl that was like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm not a womanizer guy. I've had four. I've had. I've so had, sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is pretty sick now. Now it's like it's come full circle. It's like bell bottoms. Like they were cool and then they're not cool and yeah. then they're cool again or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like like fashion phases. It's like it's so now sick. it's cool. Now I'm 30. I'm like, yeah, it's cool, dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I saved myself basically for, yeah, compared dude. to all you fucks. Is that the no, line but, you said? You no, were like no. bell bottoms? No, dude. <laughs> no. What I said to her was she was so after she like fake pregnancy scares me. She does this fucking judo, you know, juke on me. If it's a pre- fake pregnancy yeah. scare, I'm like in a whirlwind. She goes, yeah, I just, like, feel like all we do is, like, hook up, and then I, like, leave, and, like, I just feel like you're really cool, and I just, we should, like, go to dinner and stuff and do that whole thing, and I was like, oh. A very reasonable thing to ask. Yeah, but but I had made it clear. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, if the sex is confusing you, we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so- <laughs> yeah, I, was just, I was just trying to say, like, the most, like, yeah. like the most polite, cordial like a real thing yeah and she goes she goes yeah yeah i totally agree like yeah friend zone for now and we'll see what happens and i was like okay yeah but just so we're clear we're breaking up i friend zoned you just so we're clear i just i you can't yes you can't yes you can't like check try to checkmate a checkmate i am the I, captain now i'm the captain of this one dude yes i, I had spent my whole yes. you know liking girls career this throughout, is positive throughout, masculinity throughout yeah throughout my whole career of like having crushes on girls just constantly friend zone dude i was oh, i was yeah like when you're such younger, a good friend that. dude when you're, all, you're when you're every every like seventh grade boy is dude this. i was such a good friend i yeah. was everyone's you're, where's the friends I do I like was having everyone's friend, and then it was like, all right. And I'm not a guy that pushes the, you know what I mean. As soon as you tell me yes. we're friends, I'm like, fuck. All right, fine, we're just friends. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's like, oh but yeah, because th- that's just embarrassing. Just like th- fucking, you know, trying to throw pain at a fucking wall. You know what I mean? Like you're just like, fuck. I'm just trying to like, you're trying to hook up with the same girl that's just totally uninterested. For me, when they say that you're your friend, it's like, ooh. <laughs> you know, my the crush dies for oh, me. Oh, I don't even have that, dude. I I'm I love having women friends. Just yeah. like, just casually, I'm I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at just Dude, having because yeah. I I feel like especially after I went through like even before I like I'm cool with just being like friends with women. It doesn't affect me. Yeah. Uh, is there sometimes attraction? Sure, but like, it's fine. Yeah, I I think that's been a beautiful thing about being in a relationship for a long time that I'm really secure in, where I'm like. Oh. And it's funny to hang to out with 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 people like I don't want to name drop anybody but like there's friends in the comedy scene that I have yeah. that are like I'm so platonic with them and we're totally cool but like all the other comics are like, <sighs> like yeah, you, know, you yeah. can see yes. they're like rabid dogs trying yes. to fuck this girl and they're <sighs> yeah and you're just like dude I'm just like dude like to me it's so I mean? unappealing I'm like whoa dude like I'm like what's up <laughs> you know what we're just exactly. I, I fist bump girls and these other guys are like hey hey yeah. what's up oh, yes. I like your outfit yeah no like, to me, chill to me the fuck out. when I see someone is that in the scene and it's not something that they did it's the horny man that did it yeah. but just as a result I just go like ah, I don't even want it like it's like I don't even want this trouble because best case scenario you do get with them now every guy who is that is now like oh I'm jealous of you and now they hate you they <laughs> resent you for having sex with a pretty woman or, or even worse like they resent you for being like you're the yeah, one you're yeah. the one and then you? you're like and then now all the guys are mad at you they're like well he sucks because I'm funnier he, than him I, I can't believe he and then and now you're the bad so it's like you can't win and yeah. that's so I'm just like I'm just like I'm but I'm the one friend zoning you 
Yeah, yeah. Let the record show here. Okay? Yeah, that was the I'm funny. Choosing. That was the, that was the funny moment for me. Just as a as a career friend zoned, as a career being friend zoned guy, you did it, dude. I was like my moment, and she was trying to like she was trying to take backsies. She was trying. She was trying to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. Friend zone Can for I now. And I'm like, yeah. You're in the friend zone. Just so we're clear about who's going into the friend zone on this one. This, one? this is you, honey. This is the you. gender roles are switched on this one. Dude, I had that happen. I had a, a uh, I don't know, a, a, a lady hit me up, mm-hmm. and she was like, she was like, "What are you doing right now?" And I was like, "Oh, it's two a.m. I don't know. <laughs> I'm out." And she was like, "Oh, you're still out?" And I was like, "Yeah, are you out?" And she was like, "I'm." in by myself and I was like oh yeah and she was like home alone if only I had some company and I was like no way and I was, no, I'm not even joking and I was like and I was like maybe we could arrange something and then I thought about it and I was like this person's kind of like around the comedy community I probably don't want to do that shit and where then, you eat a little bit and then and then she was like she was like well my bed's my 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 bed's big enough for two and then she sent a photo of like her legs in the bed and I was like and then I uh, like I kind of thought about it and I was like I go Hey, I thought about it. I really don't want to do anything with anyone, even like around comedy. I'm just uninterested in this. And she goes, "Oh my gosh, what did you think? No, I just wanted to have a, like a late night conversation. Like, why would you even think that?" <laughs> and I was like, "And I was like, no, 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 no. no. I caught you being horny. <laughs> no, I caught you horned up." And I said no. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I'm t- no. Don't I'm you rejecting flip this. you. Don't I'm, you flip this on no, me. No, dude, I'm the one saying no to sex. <laughs> she tried, I'm rejecting she you. She tried to go, you know. And she was like, she was like, I think you just made this. I was just like joking around trying to be funny with you. And I was like, no, you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> you were horny for me, and I'm not interested. And that hurts your fucking morale. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that suck to be you, yeah. huh? Ooh, this doesn't happen to you very often, does it? Ooh, I wanted to keep it professional. Ooh, ooh. ooh. And you're gonna now think you're gonna make me the creep, dude. And she was like, she's like, why would you even think? No, I just want to like, oh my god. And I'll be like, yeah, I just want to keep it professional. And she goes, yeah, that's all I wanted. Why would you even think otherwise? And I was like, you showed me your legs in bed, and you're like, my bed is big enough for two. Like, <laughs> like you asked me at two a.m. Yeah. what I was doing. <laughs> I barely know you. And there's plenty of gay dudes in this fucking community there's you can lot, hit up. There's a lot there's of plenty gay of gay dudes. You like, know, yeah. if you wanted some company, you could have called Dylan Carlino. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> would not have answered this call. Yeah, he, he doesn't care about it. He would have went. He would have went. I love Dylan. I, I, knew, love, I Dylan love him so too. Yeah, he's cool. He was just in here the other day, but I was just like, it's like he would have been like, ew, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he would have friends. Ew, get some friends, too. bitch. That's what he would have said. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then in that case, she goes, "No, I thought I thought you were horny." Yeah. <laughs> she reverses it with oh, him. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I was just like, I was just like, oh, shut God. up, That's shut so up. Funny. No. The, no. mind, the mental gymnastics. I'm friend zoning you. Yeah, that is, yes, I'm friend zoning you, dude. I turned into a Batman villain. I was like, I've caught you horny, I see. <laughs> maybe that's the fucking, maybe that's the title of this episode. I'm friend zoning you. I'm friend zoning you. <laughs> Gooning in the friend zone. Gooning in the friend zone. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Gooning in the friend zone. Yeah, dude, it made me, it made me so mad because I was like, dude, I got to reject a woman. I was like, I'm going to do the thing. The holy grail. You were looking at your phone and you're like, in a, you're like, outside at creek and this is happening or something and you're just like oh, oh, this is my chance dude i, I get the fucking friend you look down at your dick your dick's like not tonight bro he's and like, you're like, like i'm not even interested. you're like oh shit yes <laughs> dude, i get the fucking friend zone a chick tonight yes and then, and then she steals your fucking glory dude dude it, i was like i just wanted to be like be like you could, like i wanted to be like oh man that's unfortunate or like oh i get it but she was like no why would we even why it's like don't even try to gaslight me. Yeah, don't you even try to do this, right? Mm, and then so you bad. know that like that you know that she's <laughs> like she's sitting in the car on the way to work the next day just fuming. No, <laughs> no, because what? No, because because she, she has five other guys that she sent that message to. Sure, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. And she was throwing out fucking seed for the birds. Yeah, dude. <laughs> she was. She was. Yeah, yeah, it was 2 a.m. She goes, all right, not this comic. There's a, there's another showcase open mic right here that'll fuck me. <laughs> I look over the guy next to me. He's like, dude, I'm going to go fuck this <laughs> lady. She's like, he's like, yo, dude, thanks. <laughs> I know. I'm like, do you want me to, do you want me to give you like Rex? It's, yeah. like, it's like when you drop a show, you're like, yeah, but I can refer someone else if you need someone else. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, like <laughs> the, the the chuckle fucker chicks just become like uh, <laughs> I'm like, like they become bookers, but I'm for like, their pussies. I'm like, I'm good, but my boy Brent might be down. <laughs> Yeah. Do, you want me to, do you want me to ask if yeah. you can do... Do you like people from the South? <laughs> hey, hey, Brent, Brent, can you run 10? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you... hey, Brent, hey, Brent, do you have, do you have a tight three? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Brent, hey, Brent, Brent, you gotta... hey, Brent, can you run time? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta... I'll light you at one. <laughs> it's just a two-minute set. You finish, you're like, dude, I'm sorry, I thought I saw the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just in the window. Like, instead of a peeping Tom, you just pop up. <laughs> and hit the flashlight on your phone. All right, that's my time. You're like, I don't know if he saw it. <laughs> I don't know if he saw the light, dude. Dude, I, I think the blinds are down. I don't think he saw the light. Like, oh my gosh, that was a great, that was a great run. Yeah, can I clip that for Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> can I clip that for my OnlyFans. <laughs> dude, Open mic or bus in two do minutes. Do they do that? Because you have to. Like, that's so funny. Like, <laughs> it's so funny that as stand-up comedians, we're like. We live in this terrible clip culture where you have to clip up every set. <laughs> Meanwhile, porn stars are like, I have to clip up every fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, God, I need somebody to fucking POV fuck me so I can get a clip on the answer on the on the only thing. <laughs> like, hey man, can you can you caption my sex tape? I'm sorry, I need to put this on Instagram and it helps the retention rate. <laughs> Dude, they're getting out fucked. They're like <laughs> I mean, like, dude, oh, everyone's doing crowd work now. They're doing gangbangs. <laughs> like, everyone's doing crowd work now. Really? I can't keep up with this. Yeah, my material's not enough. Yeah. yeah my, dude. my moves are not enough. <laughs> yeah, dude, back in my day, you just fucking suck dick. Now we have to go full penetration. Now we have to make fun of the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you've got some girl's legs up in the live stream. This has to have happened somewhere well, on I, some I, I kind of platform. I wonder what the sex version of crowd work is. Where it's like, know. oh, they're just making it so easy, just doing that. Yeah, but I just picture like some guy fucking on a live stream on one of these apps, and he's just like, he's like, yeah, it is tight. Thanks, uh, thanks, uh, you know, fuckbot69. Hell thanks yeah, for the that's what yeah, cam thanks for the donation. Is. Cam girling's literally a thing. That's crazy. I'm friend. Dude. Mm, I don't. Don't do it. I, I'm friends with someone who's a cam girl. How okay. I know them, I can't yeah, disclose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's embarrassing for other your people, cock's perhaps. On the internet. No, I'm not. Not at all. Not at all. My cock is not on the internet, <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've never done anything. I, I'm platonic friends with the cam girl. Okay, like just friends. We've like hung out in person three or four times, like with a group of friends, and uh, uh, I know them through a mutual friend, and they were like. They always pitched this person as someone who was like very nerdy and lame. And I met them and I was like, What do you do? And they're like, oh, I do a lot of streaming. And I was like, Oh, Twitch. Because I was like, You're a nerd. And they're like, Yeah, on Fansly and OnlyFans rip off, I'm a cam girl. And I was like, Oh, it's crazy how my friend that introduced us didn't bring up <laughs> the most important detail <laughs> of your life. <laughs> the most the most interesting about you, you. Were you like, was this before you were platonic with her? You were like maybe going to we be were only No, we were only ever platonic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't, I don't want to embarrass other people. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you afterwards. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, it was one of those things. And now, I don't, I don't want to. It's all right. I feel we bad can, for this person. We can pivot. It's yeah. all right. They might move to Austin and they're, they know like <laughs> Twitch streamers and they're like, I know Twitch streamers. I introduced you to Twitch streamers, and I was like, I don't want you to do that. Yeah, because they're because the reason why you have wealthy friends isn't because of your content. Well, it is because of your content, but they're not. They it's don't. not the content of your character. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, dude, because if you introduce me, they're gonna be like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be like the porn star friend, and you don't want you that. You do kind of have like a good like '80s porn star look. Oh, like, now with I the do. mustache for sure. I was molded by. I the I feel darkness. like when I met you, you didn't have the mustache. I didn't. The mustache right? is new. And then you, ha and then I saw on the on the internet like a month and a half after hanging that you had the mustache, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, Go mad. <laughs> the, mus the mustache comes and goes. It's like a, it's like a weekly thing. It'll come and go. Yeah. by the week. Yeah, you, yeah. You kind of look like Morgan Walmart, dude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Okay. Well, do we uh, do you have anything else we want to talk about? Or do you want to wrap uh, this up? I think we could probably wrap this up. How long have we been going, Tony? Oh shit! Yeah, that's yeah, perfect. I just, like, I just have, I think you got to You got to get out of here. All right. Well, uh, Matt, why don't you plug your shit in the camera, dude? Yeah, uh, on YouTube, I have a, a silly. It's a stand-up comedy game show called the Ultimate Comedy Competition. Two episodes are out. It's a passion project. I've lost so much money on the show. <laughs> uh, so subscribe to my YouTube so I can monetize and uh, check out the Ultimate Comedy Competition or at Instagram Matt underscore Banwart B A N W A R T. Fuck yeah, dude. 
Well, you're awesome, dude. Thank you for coming short notice. No, dude, no problem. Coming to hang out. This I think we had ripped one. a great pod, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Gorecast. Please like and subscribe. I know we've been pretty irregular. Me and Tony have been talking about ways that Tony can whip me into shape to keep me on track here. So um, it's on me mainly, though. But um, we're going to get uh, back on the consistent grind here, you guys. So uh, thank you for sticking with us, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot.